Hello guys, today we'll be teaching you on how to make your own notebook. All you have to do is what? Get a fix of books like this. Get a uh, cardboard, so cardboard, different color. And get your gum and then the thread and the needle. Okay, the first step is to bring this book together, create a hole here, get a machine, a cutter and create a hole here. The next thing is to sew the books together to the holes as easy as that like this sew the book together with a thread sew the book together and then right here Right uh, here, you tie it together like this. You tie it together to make it firm. You continue with the sewing. You put your needle in. With a thread, you lock it well, you tie it well to make it firm and strong. To make it firm and strong, you tie it well. To make it firm and strong. And you tie it together again you pull it inside and you tie it together next thing is to create another one here okay the next thing you keep weaving the thread around the holes okay and sewing it together like that like that to the last section of the hole you can decide to to knot the whole holes together with the thread or do the middle, the, the beginning, the middle and the hand like this. So you just hold the paper together firm. Okay. And in case you want to get this type of paper, all you have to do is what? To copy this double 200 pages. I don't know whether you have it in your country. If you have it, you go there, they have this paper, then you get it. Okay, so we are almost through with the last hole. We're almost through with the last O. We're almost through with the last O. Then you knot the thread together. You sew it together. See what I'm doing? I'm taking it inside the thread and I'm sewing it. I'm taking it inside the thread and I'm sewing it. I'm taking it inside the thread and I'm sewing it. To make it strong, then you use the scissors. You cut this away. Okay? now we are done with the threading with the threading okay so the next thing you're going to do is to place your cardboard we have the the yellow and the black cardboard okay so i'm going to use the cardboard like this over it okay the next thing is to size your cardboard with the paper because you may not be able to have a perfect match cardboard for the size of the paper. So all you have to do, whichever cardboard you are getting, no matter how long it is, just place it and map it out. Use a pencil to draw and what? Map it out. It's as easy as that. Then we are going to cut it away. Okay? For the yellow and the same thing for the black. We'll play it. Well, and you mark it out. Every part of the cardboard is very useful. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with a part of the cardboard that is very useful. Okay, right now I'm going to cut it away. Okay, so get your scissors. The first thing first, 
Praise the car God. Then you praise the scissors. Make sure you have a very straight hand. And you are, if you have a cutter, just use your cutter directly. But I don't have a cutter, I only have scissors. So I'm going to trace out the line and I'm going to cut it out. So in case you have just the scissors too, you can do the same thing as well. It's very simple, it's simple creativity, okay? Simple creativity. I've been able to design a couple of books with this, a couple of notebooks with this. Very easy process. You trace the line and you cut it. Trace the line and you cut it. Take it easy, gently, and just trace the line like that. Okay? It's as easy as that. Easy as that. So while you are in quarantine, during this coronavirus, you can be creative and you can decide to do something beautiful. Okay? So guys, after we're done cutting, the next nice thing is to arrange it well. The cover on the paper, arrange it well. And we are going to sew it again with our needle and thread. So this time, just trace where the hole is, punch it inside. Is to hold the paper with the book. Okay? Punch it inside and uh, sew it together like we did the other time punch it inside again sew it together make sure you set it well and take your time with it okay you punch it together again and be careful with the needle so that you don't injure yourself Punch it in together again. And next thing you go, you go to the middle. You check where it is. You punch it in. Don't forget the two cardboard is already well placed. So and now we are sewing the two cardboard together. So these are the simple things you need to do for yourself. These are, I guess, most of my customized books. And it's amazing because I designed the kind of color I want. Okay, you move to the next O right here. You trace it out. Okay, then you punch it in. Be careful with the pin. You also do it twice, it's okay. You move to the last one here. Yeah. Last one here. Yeah. Punch it in. Make sure the book is well arranged so you don't have to make any mistake. Here you have to lock it properly now. Punch it again. Again. Then you lock it in. Again. Then you lock it in. Okay. And do it once again. To make it tight and firm and you lock it in so when you are done with that you use up scissors and you now we have this guys you see that now we have this this is the back okay and this is the front back and front then the next thing you're gonna do is to is to place this on it okay guys you know remember when we did this stuff when we cut it out so all I'm gonna do right now is to cut this edge away and get this I cut this edge away and I have this so I'm gonna use it to cover it up so all I'm going to do is what to apply gum on each and every one of it To apply gum, this is my gum. It's my gum, it's like a lipstick, right? It's my gum. So I'm gonna paste my gum right here. I'm gonna place my gum right here. Right here. Your gum could be liquid gum or whatever gum you have. And I'm gonna apply it right here too. Okay. Right here. Right 
here okay if you have the liquid one is good if you have this one it's good so I'm going to apply it right here need to adjust it because we are going to fold it see that I'm going to apply it then the next thing is to fold it is to fold it you have to be careful when you are folding you have to be careful when you are folding and clinch it to the next side fold and clinch to the next side fold and clinch to the next side okay So right here, we are going to place another gum. Right we are going to place another gum. Then the next thing is to gradually add this to this to the edge and clench it together. Once the gum dries. It's stable, becomes stable, becomes stable, and then you're gonna like it. See that? That's the next thing. You make sure, you make sure it's clipping properly. Okay, your gum is gonna enable that happen, but take your time with it. Do you see this other side too? It's clipped. Okay, it's clipped. So once you're done this way. I want to make another design so this is yellow this is black i can just place it this way to make a perfect design so guys that's another thing you need to know you can just add gum to this side to this side just add gum to this side it could be liquid gum or whatever gum that you have but not super glue okay just normal paper gum that's all you need normal paper gum it will be it could be liquid and it could be in this form okay it could be liquid gum but not super glue so you have to do is to place it right here just to form a design right there just to form a design right here so that's the essence of this to form a design right here so i can use my ruler to smoothen it very well to smoothen it use my ruler to smoothen it very well smoothen it very well yeah so you have something like this see that isn't this beautiful Isn't this beautiful? See this? Okay. See that? Push it this way. Just bounce it slightly. To lock the side together. And you use the side like this. Okay, guys. You see how more yellow? can say add it if you want just all we have to do is to divide this into two okay I'm going to divide this into two So you have the gum, you place it right here, like that. Use a roller to smoothen it. Okay. While the last piece, you just measure from which edge to which edge, and you cut it away. The gum right there 
you cannot little gum to it little gum to it like this then apply like this See that? Sweet design. Yes, then I do this for myself. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Okay. See that? I love to write. So you can do one for yourself. This is my own. So I just write this. So these are to do your homemade book and then you use the scissors to cut out the other pieces that you don't want. Just trim it. Trim it away. As easy as that. Then you allow the gum to glue together. And not burn. Use a to cut the extra edges away. Very possible. See that? Now I have a beautiful book. I have a beautiful book. I have a beautiful book. See? See that? Homemade book. See that? See that? Share away. I'm a beautiful book. Yeah, keep liking, keep subscribing to our channel. We love you. Make sure you do something creative during this uh, quarantine period. Thank you.